Hey, my thrifty friends, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop, and today's video is a thrift haul. I actually didn't plan on being long. Like, I was just gonna stop, make a quick trip to Value Village in and out, and it was pretty good. I didn't record because I was in a really like crunch time. And then I went to Plato's Closet and found some more items. We're just gonna do straight into a thrift haul. I found too many good pieces to not share this with you guys. I spent $350. I did the math like three days ago. I think I got 26 items. Average cost of goods was $13.50. I know probably seems a little bit high for most people, but the average selling price for most of these items is going to be over $45 and probably even up to like over $60 and more. So I'm not too worried about the cost of goods. I'm still looking to triple my investment. I do pay up for more items. Some of it's from a thrift store, some of it's from a buy sell trade. So price points, that's kind of how I averaged it all out. And there's lots of different pieces. I got some vintage, I got some fall pieces, winter pieces like bolo brand pieces that I love finding. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go into this, okay? No more, no more wasting your time. A bunch of this stuff is old stuff. Sorry to let you down. This is all like old stuff that I just haven't listed yet. Um, but this side is all the good stuff. I kind of organized it so that I think all my thrift store stuff we're gonna do first and then we'll do my buy, buy sell trade. All right, so first up, Lululemon bra. I can spot these out like from a mile away. I know consistently what I'm looking for. So usually when I get to the bra section, I'm just like scanning through it. Like I'm literally just looking for a certain style and it's NYX and these Lulu bras, they both kind of fall into the same style that I can point out. So yeah, this was a good find. I love selling Lulu bras, especially they're like real bras, not their sports bras, because they tend to hold value as long as the cost of goods is low. And this time I scored it. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to tell you guys, it was 30% off at Value Village. I forgot that it was. And when I showed up, I remember, and I think it was like, that's what I mean. It was like a really impromptu visit. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's a 30% off day. I need to like really seriously source and take advantage of this coupon because they don't really send them out often. Next is this Tradition Country Collection. I don't think it's like anything. I think it's like a Sears brand or something. Maybe they even sell it at Walmart. I'm not really sure, but I love the mountain scenery. This is a no brainer for me. I will always grab these types of like cardigan sweater jackets, especially when they have cool mountain prints animals deer moose bears things like that that is that is like my niche i love those pieces we're gonna head into some dad sweaters uh this is like a vintage style sweater and i love the v the colors of it very fall does it say material content oh this one was made in italy and it's 60 percent acrylic 40 percent wool so it is a wool blend and you know what honestly i would have grabbed it regardless just because of the colors the nice warm earthy colors i love this this is like all the fall pieces that i'm trying to grab this would this is something that yeah i would grab even if it wasn't a wool blend and i like those nice warm colors next is another vintage this is like a dad 80s sweater <laughs> totally like look at this print Oh my gosh, and I love the colors. If I wore knit sweaters, I would keep this. This is like my color palette, everything that I dream about. And yeah, I, I'm getting very excited, like stoked on fall and winter pieces coming out into the thrift store. And then the last kind of dad sweater is this one. Okay, I gotta show you guys up close. So I don't know if they curl in the States. I feel like it's a sport around the world, but in Canada, curling is a really big sport. I picked up this, what is it called? Foley's Collections. It's acrylic wool blend. And to me, it's like a dad sweater with two dogs curling. How cool is that? And I love the color of the knit. Again, another no brainer for me. Uh, it was marked up at eleven fifty. dollars I would have saved the 30%. I feel like I probably would have grabbed this even if I didn't have a coupon just on the 
uniqueness of it. All right, next is a Billabong a tailor-made 100% cotton shirt. This is a men's. I don't normally grab these and I don't normally grab Billabong just because I don't find the resale is there for what I'm paying for it. I grabbed this piece because of the pocket, very Southwestern. Oh, it has like accenting on here. And I'm gonna have this listed as a flannel, a nice piece to layer with, with sweaters, shackets, things like that. And I'm actually gonna list this into the women's and size it by measurements because I think this is a really nice piece. Very West Coast style, pair of jeans, bloodstones, uh, even a toque on. I just, I love it. This, yeah, I don't normally grab these pieces. And I feel like I just said in my last What Sold video that I don't grab long sleeves. And here I am grabbing a long sleeve. Now you kind of see the vision. I definitely have a demographic of people that I'm shopping for and I keep this person in my mind when I'm out shopping. And even though something maybe doesn't fall into a bolo brand that I would normally grab, if it fits the trend and the style of that um, person or that avatar, I guess, I'm grabbing it because I'm trying to be like a personal shopper. That's kind of like what my goal is in my closet. Like I have my bolos, my brands, like the things that everyone's looking for, but then I have my unique pieces or my quirky pieces or like my curated pieces. It's just a demographic of people that I am trying to shop for and cater to. Next up, San Francisco sweater, nothing fancy. I don't even know the brand. So this may have been like a tourism sweater. I just like the color of it, very fall. I think that if this would have been like any bright spring, summer kind of colors, I probably wouldn't grabbed it. I did mainly grab this because of the color. And then this next one, this will kind of wrap up the sweaters. Uh, Marmot sweater, this is in a size large, and I feel like it's a women's size large. I like Marmot, it's a brand that sells, it's an outerwear brand that's common to like snowboarding, hiking, anything outdoorsy, because these sweaters, they're expensive to buy brand new. And I, this is like another thing, I don't normally grab sweatshirts. It's not something that I source commonly and more just because it doesn't meet my profit margin. With that 30% off, I kind of bought some things that I wouldn't normally. I might keep the San Francisco sweater for myself, but this marmot one I'll toss in and kind of get sprinkle in some lower ASP items into my closet. Next is this Banff Canada shirt. I love grabbing anything mountain. I don't know if you guys are seeing a theme here, but this is my demographic of people that I'm shopping for. I'm actually gonna show it to my kids and see if one of them want it. They like to wear shirts like this kind of around the house or to school with a pair of jeans. A cute piece, love Banff Canada. I don't know if you've ever been, but it is one of our favorite locations in the Canadian Rockies. It's pretty touristy and we spent a lot of years traveling there to go snowboarding when the kids were younger but yeah it's just like it just gives me all the warm feels there whether you're there in summer spring fall winter it doesn't matter it's just a great great place to visit next are these lululemon pants i they're not a line material i actually don't know what the material is i'll have to search the style I'm not a Lulu expert. They're in my size, so I don't even, they're like a crop. I don't even think they're gonna hit the closet. I might end up keeping these for myself, we'll see. I think they're a size 10. So if you are a size 10 and you're looking for Lulu pants, keep your eyes out. I haven't decided 100% if I'm getting it. Oh, and the other thing about these next few pieces, I found someone's kind of like stash spot, I think where they were ditching items they weren't getting, probably from the day or two before, where like if you didn't have a coupon, maybe these would seem overpriced, but because I had that 30% off, it didn't really phase me. Another one that I found is this Lulu shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like perforated on the sleeve. Definitely a newer style, I think think i feel like my daughter has a shirt like this i might keep it for myself this is another one i'm not too sure about because it is a bigger size and i don't find larger size lululemon often but this was a score and then the other item i found was this kind of like grayish uh swiftly tech long sleeve again i haven't been grabbing these as much just because my thrift store has them marked up this one i think i'm gonna have to give a good wash with some like oxy clean or spray and wash now that i'm like looking at it it definitely has some discoloration in it yeah it just might need a really good 
good washing. So that was kind of like that secret stash. It was like three Lulu pieces that I found. Next is this fig kind of like knit sweater vest. I think this is really great kind of office wear. I believe it's made out of Model. Yeah, 50% Model, 50% cotton. So really fantastic quality material. Anytime I see Model in the name or like in the fabric content, I'm gonna look it up and see what it'll sell for. I didn't even check the comps on this. I just picked it up. I like it. It's neutral. Sweater vest. It's fig. I think I sold a fig dress maybe a couple months ago and it sold for a pretty good dollar. So I, I don't know what to expect for this, but the cost of goods was was reasonable. Next is this vintage 100% cotton. It's like a corduroy. Can you see this? It's like a duster vest. To me, this is like so 80s. Could also be very current. And they had it priced at four dollars plus i would have saved that money on it i don't know i just thought it was a really cool piece i love finding good quality vintage stuff and this is the tag it actually says that it was made in vancouver so that's really cool made in canada i like this such a cool piece all right next up is a croft and bar barrel yeah quilted vest Nothing fancy. I grabbed this more on style and trend. I love quilted stuff. To me, this is really cute with like a nice turtleneck, a uh, fitted top, jeans, blundstone boots, just kind of that demographic of people that I'm shopping for, like lightly lined. So it's a really good fall piece. This is a mountain equipment. Let me show you guys. Mountain equipment co-op, long sleeve. Nothing fancy. I don't, I don't even think I'm expecting any thing great dollar wise out of this. This is a Canadian brand and I really like having these items in my closet because they bring traffic in. So people that are looking for that style, um, they'll come in, they'll see this and hopefully find other pieces. I have some Arcteryx, some North Face. Yeah, I'll have some good pieces coming up soon. Burton. This next one I'm kind of taking a chance on. It's not a brand of anything but it's like a men's wool trouser. I don't know if you can see the print on it. And they're pleated with pockets, 70s style. They're in really good condition. And I know this is kind of a trend right now. If I look through Aritzia, they've had some of these and other kind of brands have been carrying them. So I think this is a great fall piece for someone that maybe has that tomboy kind of look. And these can be worn with a belt and a nice white blouse, but dressed up, dressed down, doesn't matter. I'm digging the wool trousers. Like that is something that's on my little checklist of items that I'm always looking for right now. Next up, <laughs> we're starting to get into my buy sell trade store. So I got a pair of wedgies in a 28, another pair of wedgies in a 29, both of these are like distressed knee styles, which I really like this style. Uh, I've had good luck with wedgie jeans, so I'm gonna keep grabbing them. And if I sit on them for a little bit, I'm okay with that. And then the next one is a wedgie straight, and these were in a size 31. I'm actually gonna try these on for myself. I really like them, they have like distressed knee. I think these would look really cute with my blundstones and like a quilted vest with a sweater, like a hoodie on. I just, yeah, I'm hoping they're gonna fit me. I have to try them on because I sourced a pair of Levi's 30, like size 30, but they were like too tight. And of course they don't have stretch in them, but I really wanna have a pair of Levi's wedgies for myself. I'm hoping the 31 is the size that I need. Okay, I'm gonna grab these next ones in a clump. Uh, these are Wilfred pants. I've sold quite a few of these in the last six months. I think I still have a pair sitting in my closet. I grabbed these ones because they were a bigger size. I think they're like a size 10 maybe. I like larger size. If I think these would have been a size two or four, I wouldn't have grabbed them just because I do have a smaller size sitting in my closet right now. Yeah, those, I like those. These next two are both, are they both Wilfred? Nope, one's Wilfred. One is Babaton, both are in a size 10, but I'm gonna give them each their own moment. So these ones are like a crisscross or like a belted wide leg 
trouser pant. I think these retail for about 150 Canadian. So I paid up for these. I paid $24, but I'm expecting to sell these for somewhere around $100. They're pretty current in style. And I think these are very applicable going into this fall. This is such a current style. And then the other ones are uh, a tie waist the tie front ones and these were in a size 10 as well they're black tapered leg these are doing really well i just sold a pair of them on the weekend i think for either 50 or 60 dollars and these ones i paid under 15 dollars for so i'm hoping to get over 75 and because they're a size 10 i feel like i'll probably get more money for them because you don't find larger sizes often in the aritzia pants like i feel like you always find zeros two and four but like even six eight but these being tens like i think that's even better for me i think that that's better next is another wilfred top this one has like lace collar and like a lace insert nice long sleeve a little bit of a crop but that's okay I love the thickness of the material. It's a fantastic fall and winter piece. Great for dressing up, wearing to the office. Uh, I'm trying to get more office attire in because I know that a lot of people that have been working at home are being sent back to the office. And I'm hoping office wear has its like next go around. Next is a Lulu sweater. I don't even know the style of this. I'll have to look it up. I think the size dot is in here yeah it is probably a 2017 and i can just tell by the um i don't know if you guys can see this by the size dot so the way the letters and numbers are spaced out that's usually like an older like probably yeah 2017. uh the newer tags have smaller writing around them with letters and numbers and that's the code that i would use to look this up so i still have to look it up but this is like a nice fleecy lined one and it's in a size eight it just needs to be kind of lint rolled really good condition and then the last item which is also my favorite piece of this thrift haul is a babaton wool jacket this one is gray i'd have to check the size but i'm thinking it's probably a size four maybe even a size six and i see there's just like tiny flaw here but otherwise in really good condition. We'll see what I get for it, but I feel like I'll be able to double, if not triple my investment. And I love these Aritzia wool blend jackets. They just do really well. That's my thrift haul. Not too bad. Average cost of goods, $13.50. I know I can double that and then not including the higher ticket items that I'll be able to sell for quite a bit more. This is like a pretty good thrift trip um, slash sourcing trip because it's not all thrifted clothes. This is a pretty successful sourcing trip for me. I don't normally find these many good pieces in one haul and that's why I really felt like sharing it. I was like, I gotta share this, this is crazy. I wasn't anticipating that this day, right? So this is on Friday. I had a lot of things to do before we headed to the lake. Yeah, sourcing and like going to two stores was not on my to-do list and we're just not gonna tell Jeff that I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing to get ready for the weekend. <laughs> oh, I feel like I have a sourcing problem. Okay, what do you guys think? Are you excited for these pieces? Anything in here that you're also looking for? Are you digging the sweater still? Are you still looking for those like dad and grandpa sweaters, vintage pieces? Anyone else pick it up wedgies still? I want to know. Am I the only one that's still grabbing them? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this impromptu thrift haul and it's brought some joy to your day and has put some fire under your bum to go do some sourcing and find your own goodies. All right, guys, I am out of here. Thank you for watching and I am wishing you all many sales and I'll see you next time. Bye. Stand